Are you tired of your Discord repeating the same phrases over and over? Like in my Discord, for example, people keep saying stuff like help or I need help with this. It's almost like I built a tech support Discord or something. Oh yeah, I, I did. Well, anyways, in this video, I'll be showing you how to spam your Discord members over certain keywords they say. Let's get started. So the first thing we need to do is open up our IDE. I'm using PyCharm and then we need to import the Discord library for Python. So go into your terminal and type in pip install Discord. Now that we have the Discord library at the top of our script, we need to put import Discord. And then we need to establish our client. So client equals discord.client. After that, we need to put down our keywords. So keywords equals max, help, pyautogui, and hi. <laughs> and then we need to put at client.event. And this accounts for anything that happens within the Discord server. And then we want to check each message and for certain keywords. So async def on message message. And now we need to put a for loop to check through each of the keywords. So for iron range length keywords, if keywords I is in message.content, then for Jane range, and then put however many times you want to spam, I'm going to put 10 to be nice, and then await message.channel.send, and then put whatever message you want in the brackets. Next, we need client.run, and in the brackets, we need to put the token code. So we need to go and set up a bot. But before we set up a bot, I can see that a whopping 96% of you aren't subscribed. And if you watch my videos and you're not subscribed, well, that just hurts my feelings. So go sub now. Head over to the Discord developer portal and click new application and just name it whatever you want. And then head down to the bot tab and click create bot. Again, name it whatever you want and scroll down. And then I'm going to give my bot admin permissions. Now we want to copy this token I was talking about before. And it's really important that you should never reveal your token to anyone else, like I'm doing to all of you right now. Back in the PyCharm editor, I'm going to paste this token and then go over to this tab and click bot. And then it should give you a link and copy this link and paste it into a new tab and then add it to whatever server you want. After you click run, the bot should appear online. And the rest, well, it should look something like this. It was at this moment that he knew. And that's all I have for today's tutorial. As I said before, I do have a Discord server which helps with any problems you have with my tutorials. So if you do have a problem, come check it out. If you like the video, click like, comment down below and even consider subscribing. If not, I'll see you next time.